Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is Celebrity Monday Makeup, yay! I love doing these looks for you guys and I love hearing all your requests. So it's been difficult for me to choose the one I want to do. I've had a selection of quite a few that I think would look great. But I went on the Taylor Swift makeup look because most of you did ask for that one. So I hope you enjoy this. This is the look I've created and um, let's just get on with it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take my Sleek CC Cream in the shade Light and mix a tiny bit of the NARS Coco Banna together with my Rich and Eat Buffing Brush and just apply this um, all over the face. So I like to just dab it in the places I'm going to put it first and then just sort of put it in place. I'm just going to uh, set the primer with a tiny bit of my Rimmel Stay Matte Setting Powder, translucent, oh transparent, which is transparent. <laughs> okay, so today I'm going to be using a brown pigment called Dirty <laughs> 680 from Sleek. Um, this is going to be a perfect for a Taylor Swift look because she goes for more of a brown slash black um, smoky eye. Uh, Settled down enough to sort of wear a big wing, so that's what we're going for. Okie doke, so the first thing I'm going to do is just spritz my um, MAC 239 brush with some Fix Plus, and then I'm going to take the pigment. I always just take pigments from the lid um, because there's always plenty on there for me to dip into without dipping into the pot itself, and then just put this all over the lid before I blend. It's gorgeous, it's like chocolate, it's just amazing. If I sound a bit raspy it's because I'm just not feeling very well at the minute. So, um, video's gotta go down for you guys. <laughs> okay, so taking my Real Techniques base shadow brush, I'm just going to blend everything out. You guys have been amazing leaving requests down below as well. Um, I find it so hard to choose. I have to like, ask my friends and family what their thoughts are. <laughs> and obviously input what I prefer, but um, I'm going to try and get as many, well, I don't know how long the series is going to go on for, thumbs up if you're enjoying it so far. I've done three videos on Celebrity Monday Makeup Looks, so if you're enjoying that, don't forget to thumbs up this video so I know, and I will keep doing them every Monday for you guys. I'm going to make, take my, bit bit. <laughs> I'm going to take my MAC. 212 um, brush, this is like my favourite brush ever, and just run this under the eyes really really close to the lashes. Okay so the next thing I'm going to do just to brighten the inner corner and add that little bit more dimension, I'm just going to go in with my favourite tan pigment and just pop this onto like the inner part of the eye. just to give it that tiny bit more definition to the eye. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is create that nice fluke, and to do this, I'm gonna be using the Magic Liner from Topshop, and I'm gonna dip it into my Illamasqua gel, which is my favorite thing to do, just because I like the combination of the gel and the tip's amazing, so that's what I do. So I'm just gonna follow like the bottom lash line up to create that, uh, put it in a bit, <laughs> to create that flick. I can't speak. So the next thing I do is just take my Barry M Lash Vegas mascara and I'm just going to apply this to my lashes. Okay, so that's the lips done. Now for the classic Taylor Swift. I'm going to go in with Ruby Woo by MAC. I don't think this is the exact shade she uses, but it's quite close, so um, I'm just going to use this. And it's a matte shade, so.
I'm just gonna like pat it on to get my shape. You can use a lip liner if that's what you want to use. And that is a classic blue-toned red. Now, because sometimes she has a little bit of coral mixed in with that, I'm going to go in with 616 Love With Ginger by Maybelline. And just apply this to the centre. Ooh, pretty. Yeah, this is like my perfect red lip. Oh, this is just amazing. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> I'm just gonna go in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and just conceal under my eyes. Now I'm gonna go in with my new MAC bronzer in the shade Refined Gold. Um, I saw a question on my comments on my previous video I've just done with this bronzer asking if it's got any shimmer in it at all but I can't leave a comment if you're not on Google Plus because it doesn't leave a reply option um, so yes it does have tiny bits of gold um, shimmer in there but it's not very noticeable on the face but um, I do like that extra sheen it gives you just subtly for bronze look I'm going to add a tiny little bit of Peaches Blush by MAC just onto the apples of the cheeks. And then the final step is obviously my highlighter. Um, whether or not Taylor Swift again uses a lot of highlighter is beyond my care. I'm obsessed with it and it suits me and I can't live without it. So do what suits you as well. Like try and suit this to you, like your face shape, your style. If you don't really like um, a big flick then keep a small flick it's still Taylor Swift orientated if you don't want to add a bright bright red lip then you can just pat it and create a stain just try and do this to you because at the end of the day it's inspired by Taylor Swift um, I try to keep it as close to the actual picture as I can for you guys but um, just just adjust it because um, it's all personal personal preference And that is it guys, this is my finished Taylor Swift inspired makeup tutorial. I've had a lot of requests for this one and I really really hope you enjoyed this. So please give it a thumbs up if you did and if you're enjoying these series so far because um, I do read all your comments as well and I do like take note of the thumbs up and stuff like that so if you want this to carry on then please thumbs up. Also, if you want to follow me on my other social networks, which I'm obsessed with, then it's Twitter, and uh, Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, that kind of thing, but mostly Twitter and Instagram, um, and they're both just me, my mouse, one. So I hope to see you over there too, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!